It's incredible. I mean, look at this. You got the harbor, you got the sun coming up. We, we just saw the lights of the city go down. What a fantastic place. In a landscape like this, it's hard to believe it even exists. I'm photographer Steven Alvarez, and I'm here in Rio de Janeiro, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. I'm documenting the landscape, the people, the culture, using Nokia Lumia smartphones. <laughs> the cameras were good when I first used them, but with the addition of a DNG file, they really shine. I can pull details out of the shadows if I need to, but what these cameras do by themselves is pretty great. One of my favorite features of this camera is auto bracketing. So in a scene like this, I want to shoot several shots at different exposures. I want to uh, make sure that I get the sky and the city properly exposed, and the camera will do that for me. I turn auto bracketing on, I choose my EV level, 0.5, 1, or 2, and it will shoot three frames at different exposures, so later I can choose the right one. This is a feature straight out of a high-end DSLR. I love the interface of this camera. It lets me really get in here and control everything I need to control in the photograph. White balance, ISO, focus, shutter speed, and of course, exposure control. So I can dial this scene in exactly where I want it before I fire the frame. One of the things I really like is that if my phone is configured to backup images to SkyDrive, they also automatically appear on my tablet as soon as I hit a Wi-Fi signal. So I can look at the pictures on the tablet simply by going to SkyDrive pictures, camera roll, and look, there's this morning's take automatically on the SkyDrive, and I didn't have to do anything. And I have the assurance of knowing that my pictures are backed up to the cloud, so no matter what happens to my devices, they're safe. The weak point of smartphone cameras has always been shooting in low light, but the latest software has made the 1020 and 1520 truly astounding low light cameras. To me, it feels like a revolution. 